In this video we're going to take a look at how you can access safe mode on an Apple Macintosh computer. Safe mode, or as it's sometimes referred, safe boot, is a troubleshooting tool that you can use to identify or isolate reasons why your computer is not starting. To initiate safe mode your computer must first be switched off. As soon as we power up the computer and hear the chime we need to hold down the shift button. We need to keep the shift button held down until we see the login window. When in safe mode, the computer will check and repair file directories as it starts. It will load required kernel extensions. It will prevent startup and login items from loading automatically. It will disable non-default fonts while deleting font caches, kernel caches and other cached files. The aim of SafeBoot is to try and get a non-booting computer to start. This is so you can isolate what's causing the issue and fix it. When the computer displays the login screen, you can remove your finger from the Shift key. As you can see here, the computer is now at the login screen. We know the computer is in safe mode because it's labelled in the top right hand corner of the screen with the words Safe Boot. Let's try and log in. If the issue that you experience does not reoccur when in safe mode, try rebooting the computer without holding down the shift key. If the issue does not reappear when you start the computer normally, the problem was more than likely related to either a faulty directory or cache, and was fixed when we were in safe mode. However, if the issue reoccurs when you reboot the computer normally, the problem may be a faulty custom font or an incompatible item loading at login. Luckily these issues can be fixed while in safe mode. To exit safe mode we simply need to restart the computer or shut down. So to recap we've looked at how you enter safe mode, we've discussed how you can use safe mode to troubleshoot and we've shown you how to exit safe mode. 